All right, we are back the next day. Well, I should say the next day for me. This will be a long series of videos back, but we're dropping down to the lower levels via a different route this time. This is the shaft, or look down the shaft that we're gonna be going down, but we're not gonna have to do that, fortunately, because just over here is a manway that's still in very good shape. Despite this being from the 1880s, this is still in great shape. You see how rough the wood is. Um, you know, very old milling work, but it's still intact. The nails have been, some of the nails have been replaced, so you have to round nails, but all the wood is original to the 1880s, which is really cool. Uh, I haven't even looked up yet. Get a quick view up. Yeah, it's just a series of platforms, so it's not like there's a dramatic view, but <clears throat> we're gonna be working our way down through this, so pretty cool. Just came out of the manway there, down on the next level, and this level takes off that direction, which is gonna be a, a little crawl through there, which isn't gonna be much fun, but this is a, a different route to drop down to that point we talked about yesterday, and I uh, wanna try and see some new things, so going a different way. We've got a bigger crew with us today, some others have joined us from out of town, so you'll see some familiar faces today. It'll be fun having this group. <laughs> All right, there's what we have to go through to crawl through that section. He doesn't even have any knee pads, so I'm sure he's loving that. Yeah, you can hear him loving it. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the, the, you hear the joy in his voice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll go through and pick up on the other side, you guys. We just punched out right behind where Andrew is, and we're in the 300, 300 sub-level stopes? So. Just, above the, just yeah. below the 300, actually. Okay. Like 325, 330. All right, so we're in some sub-level stopes. This is a archway right there, and then we're... Yeah, use the rope if you guys need to. See our crew. It's anchored very securely. <clears throat> yeah. See our crew dropping down through there. And we're dropping down to the 400. We're still making our way through these stopes here, and something just strange right there is you can still see the platforms resting on the stoles. You don't see that very often. Usually you just see the stoles, but that's what the miners were working off of or using to travel through. Oh, look at the bulkhead up there. Wow. Oh, wow, way up there. There's, a, there's another level up there, too. Holy oh. crap. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there. Wow. That's way up there. That's probably a good 60, 70 feet up. Yeah. We're still working through these stopes, and we found a food wrapper that we're very puzzled by. It says, Patsy malted milk, and then here's the kicker. It says sliced. So, you know, I've got a decent sized audience, and some of you guys are pretty clever. I'd love to have someone explain sliced milk to us, because <laughs> that was a first for every one of us. So, I know somebody out there knows about this, so please let us know. We just dropped off a stope right there and hit another sub-level and there's something pretty cool here. An ore car right there. It's actually in pretty good shape. Hard to imagine them pushing that through here given how low we are right now. But yeah, you see all the hardware still intact on that. Empty of course. And then the drift keeps running back that way. I see an ore chute right there. So we'll pick up somewhere over there. We had to roll that ore car aside to get by it. Now I'll come into uh, another chamber here. There's a drift running off that way. And then Jeremy just stuck his head over there. You can see a little trestle over there. I'll shoot down this way since he's looking at that. Uh, an old turpentine, steam distilled wood turpentine. I'm sure that was repurposed for something. Uh, I've got some carbide cans here. This actually looks like the remains of an ore car in front of us. It's missing the wheels and such, but I think that's what that was. Actually a wooden one. Yeah, that's wild. Pretty sure that's what that was. Yeah, look, because here's the door in front. I'm not gonna force it, but uh, yeah. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll get excited even over a half a wooden ore car because they're so rare. That is pretty neat. Looks like that might be the remains of a flat car, a wooden flat car there too. Yeah, see the, right there, you can see that's where the axles were. That's pretty exciting. The drift bends around that way. This is really low. So that's my backpack here dragging on the stop of the at it or the drift I mean okay that runs back and I can see it's backfilled this bends around oh wow that's a cool ore chute right there I don't think it's plugged either uh, I see a carbide can right there and Stove up there. Let's go look at that trestle that Jeremy was checking out. Huh. All right, I'll backtrack and go pick up that trestle. We just looked down that drift there. That's where the remains of the wooden ore car are. And we've got, see that little classifier screen right there? We've got this drift over here with a little trestle right there. That looks pretty cool. And it runs off around the bend somewhere. My back's not gonna be happy doing this one. Got some interesting rocks somebody put right there. That color in there. That's pretty cool. And then here's a good view. Looking down this trestle here. So I'll pick up around the bend there. Just came off the trestle there. See a good amount of gobbing here and the tracks continue that direction. An old unmilled timber right there. The ore dots, or the dots there tracking the ore car loads coming out. Little rays coming up here. So I'm not sure if those dots are a reference to what came from there because it looks like something drops off here. So it could have been from here as well, but probably that little raise to the left. Little mini pocket stope right there. The tracks disappear here. And looks like the stope disappears down here as well. Yeah, that's the end of the stope. See it terminates there, up there, and then so the sparkly, sparkly action in the rock, the stope just ends here as well. So we'll keep dropping down. We just looked down that drift where the trestle is right there. And if you'll remember, I passed this ladder on the way in, which is in remarkably good shape. So we'll go see what's up there. Just came up the ladder from down there where my buddy Austin's coming up. And it's an old, old wheelbarrow up here. Which is really cool. See, it's been patched, I believe. That's what that is, a patch right there. That's a worn through or rusted through. I don't know old wheelbarrow is well enough to date this one, but I know they sure don't look like that now. See that, would you say that's a patch in the middle right there? Oh yeah. There's a little uh, sub-level up here as well. Our buddy Jeremy's just scoping it out real quick to see if there's anything worth uh, filming down there. Otherwise, we've got to keep dropping down. Otherwise, we're going to get too distracted. Gotta keep dropping down for the primary mission of today. So, like I said, if there's anything really good back there, I'll show you. Otherwise, we're just going to force ourselves to keep dropping down and trying to get distracted. But I'm glad I came up here just for that wheelbarrow. We just dropped down that ladder there. We're continuing our descent to the 400. Jeremy's already headed down. He's working his way down that ladder there. And the remains of an ore car directly below us here. And it looks like they were dumping stuff down here at one point based on that chute right there, but that's been plugged up subsequently, as you can see. And there's just a little sub-level here that we're on. That's our gear right there. And that just runs back there and pinches out. But 
I must have gotten some stuff out of there. At this level, would have seen some traffic. You can tell because there's a primitive blacksmithing operation here. That old stamp shoe would have served as the anvil. And then you can see the coal and slag and such here. They're doing the blacksmithing. Pretty interesting stuff. So we'll keep dropping down and eventually get to the 400 and pick up down there. All right, as promised yesterday, which would have been multiple videos back, we've returned to drop down this ore pass here and we're expecting good things down there. Getting that rigged up and I'll lean out. We're gonna be dropping down there. So we'll pick up somewhere down there. We have just dropped down into what I can only describe as an absolutely extraordinary level. There are just things everywhere here. Up by that pillar, there's just an amazing amount of stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. To start with, it was right here next to me. Just one ore car and some explosives boxes. Not just two ore cars, three ore cars all lined up here. And this one is obviously homemade, patched together from dynamite boxes. Look at that. And then this, another homemade ore car, the barrel strapped onto a flat car. Incredible. Got something running off that way. I've never seen anything like this before though. These ore cars here. This is amazing. Obviously that's a, an industrial factory one. Right there. But these. That was my buddy just checking out the ore chute right here. Wow. These are something special. I can only imagine the use these saw. See, it's got a wooden bottom there, and they attach some sheet metal right there. Help support it. Man, what an amazing sight. Obviously, that uh, chain right there for pulling it. This is really just like a time capsule. This section here. Somebody's old glove right there. The powder boxes. Man. There's a piece of a windlass here on the ground next to me. See the crank right there? So, there's probably some, uh, obviously some winzes and things like that dropping off of here. I don't know if they found anything down there or not. Wow. It's tough to know where to even begin with this one. I'll show you some of what's up here before I start dropping down those, those drifts. Going off to the side. Got a bunch of drill steel here. Uh, let's see if there's a hole in the end of it. Does not have a hole in the end of it. I you can see on the camera. I wish the camera would focus on that. What's, there we go. See? No hole in the end. That tells you that's really old. Got some single jacking drill bits here. More drill steel. Uh, there's just stuff everywhere up here. Some carbide cans. Uh, I see some of this uh, stuff is slabbing off in the back here. Also oh, has a dome shape. That's that pillar I pointed out earlier. It's almost it's a pristine Union Carbide lid. I've never seen one in such good shape. Wow. We got a head of a pickaxe right there. Obviously, I had a blacksmithing operation here. You can see the soot on top of the, or the back, I think, as the miners call it, of this uh, stope chamber here. 
you see where they were heating up the coal and such. Obviously, there would have been some kind of weight, like an anvil or something. Maybe, uh, given what else we've seen in this mine, it might have been a stamp shoe from a stamp mill. But obviously, that's what that was. There's so many artifacts scattered around here. All right, there is the back side of those ore cars again. And a bunch of gobbing right here, actually. Pretty high quality gobbing. And this drift, this low drift, runs back this way. Two of my friends already went down there. I'll go catch up and see what they might have seen. Something dropping down there. There's a range of a shovel right there and a side little drift right there and we're gonna keep going ahead oh wow look at little bottle right there i don't know why that camera will not focus on stuff close by today there we go that's an old one Got a neat little trestle right there in front of me. And carbide can. Some unidentified barrel wrapping around. So this is really low. I guess they would have had those little ore carts again or something like this. Because that uh, factory made ore cart would never fit into that. Yeah. Ore chute dropping down there. That might tie into that one back uh, by the ore car. I'll duck under this and pick up over there. I just ducked under there and you can really tell hardly anyone's been down here because it hasn't been looted. I mean, everywhere I look, I'm seeing artifacts. Had a Hills Brother coffee container right there. This glass jug wrapped in burlap. Pipes right there. There's just tools and equipment tossed everywhere. And in a mine, unfortunately, in a mine that gets a lot of visitors, people just steal all this stuff. There must be an ore bucket right there. There's a ladder there, but it doesn't drop down anywhere. Just to there. This trestle is really cool looking. And uh, that might be another ore car right there, actually. There's something going off to the left as well. Let's slide under that timber. That gobbing on the left. Yeah, that is the bottom of another ore car right there. Just jammed in there like that. Get a close look at that ore car. You can see where it would pivot there on its base. That drift. It just faces out right there and the track and such is going this way so I'll continue down this way. I'm breathing hard because it's actually really low and so it's awkward carrying all the camera equipment and everything through these low these low drifts but that was not a complaint. It's definitely worth it. It's amazing to see this. I was just shooting from back there, and I think we found the bottom, the frame of that work car back there. I don't know why it was disassembled and just tossed here, but that's got to be connected to the other, or the, the tub back there. This frame has to be connected to that tub, as I'm trying to say. It's like there's a little sub-level down here from the look of things. See the broom right there? And... There's an old lard container there. I think I said this in another video, but the miners weren't using lard down here. That was something they would use at home and then take to work to carry their lunch in or carry drill bits in or whatever. And I just left it down here. I just came off of there and that broom is right here. 
There's a piece of wood here. It says identifica identification ticket on that. Love to know what that was for. This just faces out right there. I feel like I'm standing on false floor, which I think there was a stope under me at one time. And it looks like it's just been filled in. See what I mean? Now, my friends are not back. And it looks like this just ends here. And that other one looks like it ended as well. But obviously, one of these three does not end. So, as long as I'm here, I'll peek down this one, see how it goes anywhere. If not, we'll look down that stope. And if that doesn't go anywhere, obviously that third one that I thought ended goes somewhere. So I'll pick up over there. I just came from around the bend there. A little chamber here. That, that little colorful rock. That's pretty cool. Uh, this chamber ends right there. It looks like something might be leading up. So I've got to stick my head in there and see what the deal is. Unfortunately, this is a stomach crawl through this right here. So I will definitely have to turn the camera off again for that one. I just climbed up from there. And indeed, there is some stuff running up here. That might tie into that other section we look down. Find out in a minute. There is something that runs back there and stops. There's a lard container here. That one was obviously used for grease. Look inside. Some fuse right there. I'm going to scout this out a little bit and make sure that uh, what's behind me is actually a dead end. And assuming it is, I'll pick up up there. I just climbed up from down there. And this is just stope chamber on top of stope chamber, uh, which is a common feature in these older mines. All this uh, labyrinth of stopes, you see, there's a classifier right there, and it shoots off to the side there. And then behind me, the stope dips down there. There's a chute, a primitive chute right here that I'm on the top of. As you can see, um, there's something dipping down there. I think that goes to that level that I thought ended, which it still might. And there's stuff running up that way. I think the best thing for me to do is to climb up to that point, and that way I can get a better look at this, and I might be able to drop down there to get back so I'll pick up up there that's that shoot behind me there and yeah no question there's a level down there I think that's the one I looked down before looking over this way past that lard container see a stope extends well over there and that might actually lead somewhere um, I just can't tell right now and that no, doesn't go anywhere up there Right now, I'm really curious about this level behind me, and my elbows are really not happy with me right now, so I think I'm going to take a, a break, well, break in quotation marks, but a little break and look down that way and see how that looks, and I can always come back up here. There's the bottom of the ore chute there, and this is definitely that other level I look down, because there's the, the ore car on its, on, uh, its end right there. Now, what's interesting here, that this doesn't stop right here. There's a little crevice dipping down there, and there is air just blasting through there. You may even be able to hear it on the camera. So that goes somewhere. As horrible as that is, that's 18 inches. I'm gonna have to slide down there and see what the deal is. That definitely goes somewhere. This is horrible to get through, but I just dropped down from there into I don't even know, like a crawl space size space that drops off this way. I think I heard my friend's voices, or two of my friend's voices up ahead. Uh, airflow is continuing. Uh, I'm going to crawl through this, and I'll pick up over there. A little bit of minor graffiti right there, but it's just some squiggly lines. It doesn't seem to have a pattern or anything. So, like I said, I'll bomb over there and uh, pick up there.
we just climbed down from up there. There's a big hemp rope right there. And we are in truly virgin ground. There are about two inches of dust everywhere and no footprints at all. This is true mine exploring holy grail action right here. Uh, I get my, collect my wits. As you see, there's an old canteen here. It's been there for a long time. There was obviously a, a blacksmith operation here, a forge here. You can see the anvil stand right there and the soot on the top of the attic. There was some kind of platform here. You see the supports for it, but that's gone for whatever reason. It probably got taken and ripped up for timber supports somewhere. This is interesting, standing on this stand. There's ladies' choice table syrup, obviously repurposed for something. This one on the left had some kind of oil or lubricant in it. I guess oil is a lubricant. You know what I mean. Um, it looks like they strung it with that string to make it easier to carry, which is really interesting. Looking down here. friend stuck his head back there and said that just leads to a failed raise uh, with no artifacts or anything back there so we'll bypass that for now look down this one where the air is coming from that's Andrew up ahead the Hills Brother coffee can here and yeah the only footprints in here right now are ours this is true virgin territory wow yeah, mine explorers dream about this kind of thing. And you can tell from all the artifacts here that nobody's been here in a long time. Might be a war pass or something dropping down there. I don't feel any airflow out of there. Got a rail spike right there. Got a ladder, very rotted ladder here leading up to a uh, stope up there yeah that will pick up the track again the track picked up there a bend and twist towards this mess right here oh, we're not going through that are we mm -mm. i don't know if that's failed or intentional there's looks like an ore pass Dropping down that way. And I guess that's a stope above you, huh? Yeah, I think so. Good thing about the hand line. Is, is the air coming out of there? Can you feel it? Mm, I think so. No, it just ends. Oh, it just ends down there? It's a stope. Huh. Where's that airflow coming from then? I think it's, it's coming from above us. Ah. I don't know if you heard that. He's speculating that the airflow is coming from above us. So we'll go back and take a closer look at things back there. I forget what I said last, but we're still at that uh, little pit right here. We've been talking and we think that this is a failed stove right here, which probably failed relatively recently because that rock looks newer than the surrounding rock and it's not covered in dust. Uh, our friend Jeremy's running back to get a hand line because I didn't realize that was coming through, but they actually climbed this ladder here and it runs up into another sub level, which connects to an ore pass, you said? Mm -hmm. Connects to an ore pass. They're going to try roping down. We'll see if that's successful or not. Meanwhile, we're waiting. I was just kind of looking around and I noticed this little gem up here, which is sweating dynamite with a couple of blasting caps up there and in fact that's fuse cord running out it looks like the fuse cord may be attached to a blasting cap which was stuffed into the dynamite that's interesting we don't want to bang on that or anything just gonna leave that alone that dynamite is just to the right there and we've been more curious about these little shelves and ledges since that discovery and andrew just found something cool what do you have there that's a, a flint roller from a carbide lamp and it still turns yeah. So you'd flick that would flick against the flint, which would be up inside this, 
on the lamp and that would light the light the actual burner on the lamp. That's really cool. Yeah, that's neat. I've never found one of those. I was just going to say, I've never seen one of those before yeah, either. That's that's pretty neat. That's his glove, not some lost miner's glove. Yeah, right. <laughs> So like I said, we were just waiting for our friend to come back with a hand line to investigate this area. And in fact, I didn't notice it because I, I was narrating and such, but we can feel the airflow coming from up there, which is why we're going to drop that pass. Jeremy's climbing up there to investigate. That's the spot we're talking about off on the right. Just like that. We just climbed up the ladder from there. We're pulling the rope up now. A little chamber up here. Uh, not in the best shape. Kind of interesting. Um, looks like there might have been an ore chute right there. So that stuff that dumped down. It looks like somebody was scraping away at it. See what I mean through here? Like somebody scraped away a layer and then a fresh layer came down and somebody scraped away at it again. Kind of strange. And then we're, we're gonna drop. See that's looking down where we were before. See the twin rails right there. And then the area we're gonna drop is just over here. Yeah. Uh, where they're setting up. Got him just a second. I wanted to show you looking back on that section. Look like it was scraped away right there. Just right there. See a ton of stuff has come down here and filled everything in. And right there. It's not the best ground back here, as you can see. That's slabbed off, and obviously, a lot of things have sloughed off, and a lot of ground fall. Little rusted cans, artifacts here. And, do that right there. One and then this is what we're going to drop. Over the pile. Still running down. Still got weight on. We're anchored back there. And Jeremy's going to start dropping down. Let's see what we see. Exactly. Let's see what we see. Yeah, yeah, that's weighted right now. Yeah, that feels great. Yeah. How's your body doing? Fine. Okay. Oh, there. Yeah, now he's weighed. <laughs> yeah, this platform's pretty solid. Okay. <clears throat> now you might be able to re to it. Yeah. So, see what it looks like. Although that 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 corner there is going to take a lot of your a lot of your weight off. So. Okay, you ready? Yep. Wait yep. On. Go for it. Wait on it. That's full weight. Okay. Well, yeah, you're you got good. anything underneath that? Uh, my glove? Yeah. Okay. Are you on that yeah. ledge now? Yeah. yeah, he's actually, he's dropping down. Yeah, see, and it's just, okay. it's allowing it to slip, but he's dropping down under the platform. Okay. So. There he goes. doing a meat anchor on this one. And by that, I see Austin waving back there. We've got a loop through him and uh, he is providing the anchor. That just goes back there and stops there. So, Jeremy's dropping pretty quickly. We'll wait to hear the report. It looks funny, but it works. <laughs> There's Austin as a meat anchor. What's up? <laughs> it works. So, I just drop down from there, coming down, ah, we got a breeze coming from down there, let's see what we got.
drift headed that way. Collapsed or shoot something there. I'm going back this way. time restraint we'll be back see it it's ring tail What's up, dude? What are you doing? You're okay. I feel bad for those guys. You'll get some food. That's where I came in. Definitely doesn't go anywhere. I got my eight. Okay. So I'm gonna split back to be continued. <laughs> 